Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn a new chapter titled Dorothy Saves Scarecrow. The chapter is about a small girl named Dorothy and her pet dog Toto. The first chapter in your magic place is Dorothy Saves Scarecrow. Now, please take out your textbook to you learn the chapter. I want everyone to turn your textbook to page number 1. Dorothy saves Scarecrow. A young girl named Dorothy and her pet dog Toto are carried away by a stone to the magical land of Oz. Dorothy learns that only the great Oz can help her return home. So they start walking towards the Emerald City to ask him for help. They make new friends and have many adventures on their journey along the yellow brick road. After Dorothy had gone several miles along the yellow brick road, she sat down to rest on a fence beside the road. There was a great cornfield beyond the fence and not far away she saw a scarecrow placed high on a pole to keep the birds away from the ripe corn. Now I will explain these two paragraphs. In the first paragraph, it is an introduction towards the chapter which explains about the characters. There are one. There is a character named Dorothy. It is she is a little girl and her pet dog Toto. They are carried away to which place? They are carried away to the land of Oz, the magical land of Oz. Yes, and they she understands that she needs a help and. She can be only helped by the magician O's. So, to meet the great O's, great magician O's, they move for, towards the Emerald City. To meet the great magician O's, they walk towards Emerald City. On her way to Emerald City, she meets a scarecrow. And she was wondering why that scarecrow is there. Do you know what is a scarecrow? Do you know what is a scarecrow? A scarecrow is a figure that is kept on fields so that it is safe from the birds that come to have the weeds, paddies, rice, everything. Okay? It is kept to scare away the crows and birds. Dorothy was so tired because of walking towards the Emerald City. So she sat on a fence near to a cornfield and she was watching everything around her. And she came across a scarecrow which was stuck on a pole. So she was pondering over it. She was thinking, what is that? What is it kept for? Okay, do you know what is a scarecrow? Yes, the scarecrow is a figure that is kept on a field to scare away the birds and crows. Okay, yes. Now I am going to take the third paragraph on page number one. Please follow when I am reading. Point your finger and Follow my reading. Yes. Dorothy gazed thoughtfully at the scarecrow. Its head was a small sack stuffed with straw with the eyes, nose and mouth painted on it. An old pointed blue hat was placed on its head. The rest of the figure wore a blue suit of clothes, old and faded, which had also been stuffed with straw. On the feet were some old boots and the figure was raised about the stalks of corn by means of a pole stuck on its back. So, in page number 2 you can see the figure. The figure of the scarecrow. It is having a pointed hat and the eyes, nose, mouth, everything is painted on it. And it is wearing what color suit of clothes? Yes, it is wearing a Blue color suit of clothes is having old boot also. Can you see the picture in page number 2? Yes. And it was stuck on a pole. While Dorothy was looking earnestly at the scarecrow's face, she was surprised to see one of the eyes slowly wink at her. She thought she was mistaken. When she looked at the scarecrow again, it nodded its head in a friendly way. Dorothy climbed down from the fence and walked up to it, while Toto ran around the pole and barked. 
Good day, said the scarecrow in a rather husky voice. Did you speak? asked the girl in wonder. Certainly, answered the scarecrow. How do you do? I'm pretty well, thank you, replied the roti politely. How do you do? I'm not feeling well, said the scarecrow with a sad smile. For it is very tiring to be perched up here right night and day to scare away crows. Can't you get down? asked the roti. No, this pole is stuck to my back. Could you please take me down from this pole? I shall be really grateful for your help. Sure, said the roti. She reached up and lifted the figure off the pole. It was quite light for it was stuffed with straw. Thank you very much, said the scarecrow, after he had been set down on the ground. Now, do you like to help others? Yes, of course you like to help others, isn't it? Here also Dorothy helped Scarecrow to get off the pole because he was very tired because he was stuck on the pole day and night to scare away the crows and other birds. So he was so tired and he seek help from Dorothy and Dorothy helped him to get off from get off the Scarecrow from the pole. Okay? Now I want everyone to read the chapter so far we have taken, so far that I have taken for you. That is till half of page number 3. I shall tell you some words and you are supposed to learn the spelling of these words. Okay? You should write and learn the spelling of these words. Now, turn to page number 1. On the fourth line you have the word adventures. Please underline that. Second paragraph, line number four, Scarecrow. Third paragraph, second line, Stuffed. Please underline these words, okay? Did you? Yes. Now page number two, second line, Faded. Fourth line, Stalks. The paragraph which is beneath the picture, earnestly. Earnestly means sincerely and seriously. Last line, the word husky. Please underline the word husky. On page number 3, purged, it's over one On page number 3, the word purged, it's on line 6. Okay, so that's all for today. Please read the chapter and learn the spellings. I will be asking you questions. Thank you.